It is a unique film experience for lovers of kung fu flicks and the music they inspire. Shaolin Jazz brings Can I Kick It to the Denver Center for Performing Arts this weekend. And joining us today are longtime collaborators and creators of Shaolin Jazz. Gerald Washington and DJ Two-Tone Jones, thank you guys both so much for being here. Yeah. Talk to us yeah. about the program Can I Kick It. You guys have been doing this for a while, blending kind of two cult followings, kung fu movies and yeah. Hip hop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, you know, what, you know, Can I Kick It is, it's a cool uh, moving on experience where we're fusing live music, specifically a live DJ who's uh, recreating a, the soundtrack for this, the, you know, these films using funk, hip hop, jazz, rock and roll. Um, so essentially every other scene or every scene has its own kind of music, its own kind of flavor to uh, help these, these movies pop. And we're, we're talking action packed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. movies oh, here yes. with a lot oh, yeah. of fight scenes involved oh, yeah. and, you, and you're the man behind the music yeah. how do you yeah. how do you put it all together uh so it's a nice you know tedious process but um it's it's you know we approach it kind of like scoring a film um you know just finding music or sounds that really help you know bring out certain emotions and and actions and things like that but it's it's uh you know it's it's something where we try to make sure that you know, we give the audience uh, an experience that, you know, that allows them to not only enjoy the, the fighting and the action, um, but also to laugh at some of the, you know, things that go on in the movies, especially when we show older films and we look back at how things may have been different in the 80s or right. the 90s and things like that. Older yeah. films, you're also taking it back to the origins of hip hop. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are familiar with Wu-Tang Clan out there, yeah. Tribe Called Quest. Yeah. How do you, uh, you know, make that correlation? What's the relationship between Kung Fu and and old school hip hop. Yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> you know, since you know the '70s, uh, you know, there's always been this connection between martial arts and, and hip hop. You know, each has you know martial arts. There's different fighting styles. With hip hop, there's different rhyme styles and so on and so forth. And originality. You know, uh, you know, hip hop heads love you know things that are original and um, you know the way the action sequences moves is also derives from uh, or can be seen in um, uh, b boy culture. You know, through break dancing, there's those correlations and similarities too. So, um, I mean, there's quite a few similarities. That's why this stuff, it, it fortunately, it works so well. Two movies on tap for this weekend: yeah. Enter the Dragon tonight, Blade tomorrow night. Yeah. Talk about what viewers can experience <laughs> with both of those. Uh, they're they're both very fun, you know fun films for us. Um, Enter the Dragon is one of the most iconic martial arts films ever. You know, uh, rest in peace, Bruce Lee, Jim Kelly. Uh, you have a lot of great characters in there. Um, and then with Blade, uh, that was, you know, a lot of people don't know that Blade was really the first uh, comic adaptation um, from a Marvel uh, comic book that was successful mm -hmm. and then, then led really to the studio and, and the comic uh, line deciding to do this whole Marvel universe that we know of with Avengers and Iron Man and things like that. So Blade is really kind of where uh, that kind of kicks off from and, and it's a, very intense um, film, so it's it's going to be a lot of good action. Um, definitely some parts where you're going to laugh and, and cheer and things like that. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It should be yeah. a lot of fun. DJ yeah. Two Tone Jones, Jared yeah. Washington, thank you guys both yeah. so much for being hey, here. My pleasure, thank you. Be sure to check out Can I Kick It? Two screenings at Studio Loft this weekend. Tonight again is Enter the Dragon. Tomorrow is Blade. Remember to only buy your tickets through the Denver Center for Performing Arts box office or online at. DCPA.org. Resale tickets will be turned down at the door.